a burning question is, should there be alcohol in the mouthwash? Yes or no? So I want to empower you by giving you the advantages of using alcohol-based mouthwash, disadvantages of using alcohol-based mouthwash, my opinion, and then letting you be the guru of your own wellness. By the way, you all know alcohol still, alcohol-based mouthwashes are the most prevalent or they own the majority of their share in the market. They are over 50%. All major companies at some point of or the other have had alcohol-based mouthwashes. Some promote it more than others, but alcohol is a major ingredient in the mouthwash. So is mouthwash necessary? I'll also come to that. There's a lot of people, a lot of debate, don't use a mouthwash. And they are mostly talking about alcohol-based mouthwash or a mouthwash that says kills 99.9% germs a lot of the functional dentists have been after that so let me start by telling you the benefits and number one why does mouthwash need alcohol let's start with that whenever you make a mouthwash you need some kind of a solvent that solvent can be water alone a lot of companies started using alcohol because alcohol works very fast like in your hand sanitizer when you go to a hospital or even at home uh, it says 99.9% .9 germs killed. It is because the moment you put a few drops of alcohol, you rub your hands for a few seconds, your germs are all gone. Why? Because uh, alcohol dehydrates the bacteria. So the cell wall of the bacteria, it disintegrates because the alcohol has the drying effect. So the bacteria end up dying because they don't have the water left. So that is the exact same principle that is utilized when you put alcohol in your mouthwash. It literally, in a way, causes dehydration. So not only does it dehydrate the bacteria, it also dehydrates your mouth, which means it causes dry mouth. So we'll come to that later, but let's first talk of the advantages. It is a great solvent, by the way. It's fast and furious. It works the best when you're looking for something to act fast. So the number one advantage, according to me, is it has antimicrobial property. So if you've gone through certain procedures and you need an antibacterial microbial uh, product that works very quick, alcohol is a great choice. Alcohol is a solvent. They add some sodium saccharine as a kind of a sugar alternative. They also add some kind of a paloxymer to kind of ensure it's the emulsification is there. So when you use it, you feel really refreshed because it also has probably mint in it and the whole experience is refreshing but simultaneously burning burning because of the alcohol and we'll come to the second point uh, breath freshening so if in case your breath is not fresh at all and you need quick fast easy resolution one way is to use the alcohol mouthwash alcohol based mouthwashes also and these when i say alcohol based mouthwashes a tiny alcohol is more like a preservative the alcohol percentage if it is more than 20 percent more than 20 percent in a bottle if you got a big bottle 20 percent or more is what i'm referring to as alcohol based mouthwashes because that means it's got a lot of alcohol in that case, it basically has the ability to penetrate certain layers of biofilm. If the biofilms have become plaque, then maybe not, but certain layers can be effectively penetrated and the bad bacteria that are lying get exposed behind the biofilms, they get exposed and you can always brush it off. Those also help you clean your breath, whiten your teeth to some extent and keep your breath fresh. All said, these are the advantages. Now, let me tell you the disadvantages of uh, alcohol-based mouthwash. It causes dry mouth. Alcohol dries you up. If you use hand sanitizers eight or 10 times, you'll see you'll have like white, white color uh, hands and you feel like your hands are drying out. Why is that? Because that's the nature of alcohol. It dries you out. So dry mouth means a unhealthy mouth. A long-term use of alcohol has been associated at some degree with xerostomia. Xerostomia means a condition which means dry mouth. A lot of people do have dry mouth also because they are taking antidepressants or they are taking uh, some kind of medications that are antihistamines also cause dry mouth. 
the number two thing, it does irritate the oral tissue. Let's say you got a cut here and you put alcohol on it, you say, oh, that's the exact thing you may feel when you use alcohol-based mouthwash in case you have some cut or some nook or some cranny inside the mouth. And uh, that irritation could be prolonged over the long term of period using alcohol-based mouthwash can cause some kind of oral tissue irritation for certain patients, certain people, not patients. There is a study or two which is not really a deep study and has not been confirmed by peer reviews to a very big degree. But there are certain studies that have come out that were controversial that have linked oral cancer with alcohol usage. Uh, and these are more prevalent in people with, who have been drinking alcohol and have been smoking, not just mouthwash alone. So uh, there is those studies. Are they fully uh, researched? Yes, to some degree and no to some degree. They are not really fully, fully researched or maybe the intent to fully research and downplay them may not be there because uh, nobody's making money to take out certain things. But anybody who has the product has a lot of uh, intent to do studies to disassociate from those problems. It does disrupt the oral microbiome because it it does absolute killing. So 99.9% .9 germ scale means good, bad, ugly, everything is gone. You know, certain times when you use a non-alcohol-based mouthwash, it could be different. But in this scenario, everything is gone. Uh, in other scenarios, the bacterial overload could get less. But remember, 98% of the bacteria are good bacteria. They are the ones that help you digest your food. So a lot of people are eating probiotics. A lot of people have seen that they have elevated high blood pressure, especially on people who already are at a certain age. They see quite a big bit of difference, almost up to 26 points in one of the study. And I will try to put all these links in the uh, uh, link section so that you don't think I'm making it up. Everything is substantiated. You can always go to perplexity.pro uh, to kind of check all those links. But... Um, and then you form your own opinion. Now, I will in uh, in a second give you my opinion. So whatever I'm going to tell you of my opinion is my personal opinion and it has no forbearance. It is not what you should do. You have to be the guru of your own wellness. So number one, what I would do with alcohol-based mouthwashes, I would use it occasionally. The reason I would use it occasionally is because I think there are alternatives available that are alcohol free that have similar antibacterial properties without the burn without the irritation without uh, messing up with the oral microbiome simultaneously without causing me dryness so i would probably look for a alcohol free alternative one very important thing to me is that my own saliva, which I believe is the most powerful thing God gave us, I'm more concerned about not drying that out. So I would use a mouthwash that either has xylitol or glycerine in it uh, that actually would keep me moist. The reason I sell oil pulling and I talk about oil pulling is oil pulling uh, stimulates the salivary glands because the salivary glands are right here. And if you're actually using a xylitol based mouthwash, that also stimulates the salivary glands. So great alternative. But in case you still want to use alcohol-based mouthwashes, personally, I would limit the frequency to as much needed. Number two, I would always dilute it. Half mouthwash, half water. Although that's not what they talk about on the package, That, but that's what I would do. Uh, or at least I do whenever I have to use it in my doctor's office because he implements it he wants you to use it so i'll probably dilute it uh, by the way a mouthwash is not a replacement to your brushing your flossing your toothpaste uh, water flosser uh, all that stuff mouthwash is always in conjunction with all that good stuff so don't forget this is not what you need to do so i want you to be the guru of your own wellness whether alcohol based mouthwashes are for you whether you smoke, drink alcohol and still use mouthwash with alcohol, 
whether you want to use an al non-alcohol based alternative mouthwash, whether you want to use oil pulling, whether you want to scrape your tongue, ultimately it's your health and you have to be the guru of your own wellness. But in whatever case, try to not ever, ever use mouthwash as the only thing you do. You have to have complement brushing, flossing, water flossing with a mouthwash. Don't just depend upon mouthwash. Whether it is alcohol or non-alcohol, does not matter. So be healthy, be happy, smile a lot, and be the guru of your own wellness.